Hello everyone, this is Aliyah. Welcome to my channel. Before we get started with today's reading, I just want to say a quick thank you to all of you who have subscribed, commented, and shared. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. I appreciate you guys very much. And uh, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Without further ado, let's get on with the reading. Um, so we have, uh, so today, first of all, today's topic is going to be, is the feeling mutual? Is what you feel for your person, is it mutual or is it just in your head? I get a lot of this question in personal readings. So I just thought I was inspired today to do this reading for you guys. So I have three groups. Group one, we have Amethyst. Group two, Rose Quartz. Group three, we have Carnelian. You focus on your person. You can even ask for more than one person. Why not? And select your group or groups. And remember, it's a general reading. Everybody's situation is different. And since there are a lot of viewers, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, choose another group. If none of the groups resonate with you, so you know it's not your video, it's not your message, just wait for next week's video or in a few days. So um, I'll give you guys a moment. Think about your person, focus, and choose the group or the groups you're drawn to. Okay guys, have you chosen? Let's get started with group one. And if you need to pause the video, you know what to do. If you need to, just to kind of have more time to meditate on the piles or the groups. Okay. All right guys, Amethyst, group one. Welcome group one. So what we have. So today I'm trying a new spread, okay? so. I just, we're gonna look at your energy, your person's energies, and we're gonna look at the past, present, future using tarot. And um, so yeah, and we have a couple uh, more oracle cards as well. So for you, we have time, okay? We have peace. I'm gonna lay out the cards first, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna read them. Then we have look to your inner strength, that's your mutual energies. Then we have Unfinished Symphony. This is for your person. We have Balance. Okay, let's make sure this is all in frame. Okay. okay. So for the tarot we have, this is the past. Let me just make sure. No, this is, I'm sorry. So for the past, we have King of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the High Priestess, okay? For the present, we have, so this is what's going on in your, just, you know, the energies surrounding your situation and what's going on in your head and their head, what events have transpired between you guys. So this is the past. This is the present. We have the... So the past, we have King of Cups, Three of Swords, and the High Priestess, okay? For the present, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. And, oh, and we have the Three of Cups, okay? Let me just make sure this is all seen here. Future, this is possible future energies, okay? As I always say, your future is not set in stone, but this is just future um, energies, okay? Possible future energies if nothing changes. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the World, and we have the Four of Cups. Okay, just... Just want to make sure that it looks good for you guys on screen. All right. Then, with the angel answers, we have perfect timing and we have healing. This is with the magical herb oracle. Okay, let me just make sure you see all of this. Okay, so what comes to mind group one is that 
Some of you are involved perhaps in the third party. Okay, we have the Three of Swords here. We have the Three of Cups here. And let me see if we have another three. No, this is an eight. Okay, so for those of you who are involved in third party, your relationship was kept a secret, okay, in the past. Whatever it could also mean if you, and I mean, take this as it resonates, because not only, not everyone that's chosen group two, I mean, group one, I'm sorry, has, is involved in third party. It can, the three of swords could simply mean heartbreak. It could mean, you know, and then with the high priestess here, these feelings were kept a secret. Okay. Perhaps your person here is depicted as king of cups, might be a water sign or has water in his chart. Um, but it doesn't matter. The astrological signs don't matter here. But his personality is depicted as the King of Cups. And I feel like your person had feelings for you, but it was in denial of those feelings. Okay? Kept them a secret. Whatever the reason was, perhaps it wasn't the right time. Um, we have time as well here. Perhaps it wasn't the right time. Perhaps it just came. They weren't ready for that type, for those type of feelings. Or sometimes the person could have had so many walls up that um, they didn't know how to love. Their heart was so broken that they didn't know how to love. They had some sort of feelings, but they weren't acknowledging them. They were just shoving them down. It could be that. Or if your person was married or in a dip or in a long term commitment, they could have kept those feelings for you. A secret okay so that's in the past and current energy it's still that still we have the three of cups the nine of swords and the ace of cups so somebody wants a new beginning um, perhaps you're in the friend you know you're just friends now you're waiting for a new beginning you're waiting for something to happen some perhaps they offer you a solid commitment or something that's solid not inconsistent you don't want your relationship perhaps you're thinking this as well you don't want this to be hidden you don't want this you want to be out on proud you want to and you're kind of worried if that's even going to happen ever either you or your person um Perhaps your person, okay, you know what? I think this is your person as well. Perhaps they felt sort of like you kind of got away. Perhaps it's too late. They're afraid. Perhaps you're showing you kind of, if they're seeing you on social media or you have friends in common or whatever, perhaps they're seeing you as having fun and you're not really, you, you know, you're, you're just trying to move on because I do have the peace here for you. I think you've been stuck in this energy back and forth with your person and emotional turmoil. I think you just want peace. And I think you kind of, you know, you, you let go and let God because we have time here. Since you're trying too hard, give it time. I think you're just giving it time. You kind of pulled away. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're focusing on yourself. But I feel like your person perhaps feels that they might lose you. Okay. That maybe because... <clears throat> due to circumstances out of their control they're not able to be together with you they're not able to express themselves or they're not able to come to you um, and they're afraid that this new star the ace of pentacles might never happen because they feel like perhaps you're doing very well on your own that you don't need them that could be the truth that could be for some of you as well you so you could be moving on and having looks like you're having fun and um and you kind of you're getting this trigger from your person they're probably scared i'm like oh, oh i think this is a missed opportunity i don't think we could ever be together i think this you know she's moving on here or she's moving on so that's what but there's a lot of turmoil either in your head or in your person's head and and i really and i'm saying this too because your person feels you know it's an unfinished symphony so whatever so there's no closure if you guys have withdrawn or you have moved on or they just grew cold perhaps one of you blocked the other whatever it is your person feels that somehow there's some unfinished business between the two of you okay I really feel like it's very hard for them to express their feelings this is a someone who's really closed off whatever the circumstance in their life right now whether they're married or family interfering or you know um, they just had you know they had their 
heartbroken in the past and they just don't open up they don't trust whatever the scenario is i really get the feeling that your person secretly feels for you but at the same time they're not acknowledging it they're not acknowledging those feelings and uh they're not gonna let or they're not expressing them as well you know so definitely some healing would have to be you know is required in this connection and it's saying perfect timing perhaps we have twice here the time we have two cards that that talk about time so perhaps you guys met at the wrong time maybe your person was emotionally unavailable when you met maybe they were with other people you know with someone else or just perhaps they were focused on their career maybe they they weren't ready for relationship they weren't ready for you and i feel like with time things might change and remember this is possible energies you know the future anything can change so but right now this is what's go, what's, what's happening your person wasn't open your, their feelings were they were feeling having uh, romantic feelings with for you but they kept it a secret and um, they feel like they're losing you and but you know what i don't feel like it's over because we have the we have the ten of wands the world and the four of cups the world sometimes indicates the completion and the ten of wands is the ten of the wands right like um the completion of the of the wand suit but i feel like you're still it's still not going to be over whatever you're feeling whatever this back and forth is not going to be over why because we have the stagnant energy we have the four of cups i am so sorry perhaps that's not what you want to hear perhaps you're trying to move on from them or you're just trying or you want to things to progress not in the near future i don't feel like it's going to progress much i think it's still going to be stagnant okay you're prevented from moving forward because there's other things at play and um your person really definitely needs to heal and needs some sort of balance okay we have balance here for them for them love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges so your person has a lot to learn about relationships he has a, a lot to learn about give and take about being emotionally vulnerable about opening up your person has a lot to learn and perhaps that's why you came into their life is to teach them that i feel like you're more evolved you're if you're not older you know physically older you are spiritually more mature more evolved you're perhaps an older soul but i feel like your person really feels this is unfinished business it feels like there's no proper closure even though you might have had a break in your connection it's going to come around and it's a bit it's like this stagnant it's like a loop it's like a back and forth it's like this never ending type of you know story yeah unfinished symphony and let's see here what this card says it says look to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize um this is 11 so you could be dealing with some sort this is an 11 number this card you could be dealing with a, perhaps a soulmate it could be for some of you maybe very few of you a twin flame perhaps and that's why you have one of you is more open than the other and i think you are the viewer of course you're watching this video you're more open you're the one who's like trying to want to work at it and your person is just really in um i feel like they're just so confused they're really confused i think a big part you want change you have, you want peace we have 23 23 2 and 3 is 5 in numerology which is a number of change you definitely want something to change and i hate to be the one to tell you to have some patience but in here we have two cards that, that do indicate um precisely that that time it's not time yet your uh whatever is happening hasn't reached its pinnacle yet it's still going you're still going through this back and forth this you know this in um insecurities and all these things that have to come to the surface your person definitely has to learn a lot from you but they feel there's something there but they're not opening up i don't see it let me let me let me get i try to do these i um i see some readers that have their own 
um, oracle cards or tarot cards, which I'm going to be designing my own because I do feel like when I use these tarot cards, I feel there's some, for example, that just kind of um, very limiting and I would love to, to make my own as well especially when it comes to the yes and no, uh, no readings and um, the timing as well. So I did, so let's see what we get here. This one just fell off. <laughs> we got a yes. Let's see if you could see this. Uh, it, it won't, it's not, it's, it hasn't cleared. It's kind of like blurry. Okay, do you see this? Yes, your person, it's not in your head. Okay, it is not in your head definitely not okay your person has feelings for you okay it's just really complicated so group one i hope this helped thank you very much for watching and if you like the reading please like comment and subscribe thank you very much till next time all right quick second here <laughs> I don't want to pause the video because I don't like to edit the videos. So let me just put this here. All right. Rose quartz. Group two. Welcome, group two. Let's see what do I have for you guys today. So we have trust. Okay. Let me just lay the cards and then I'm going to read you what the cards say. Then we have message in the bottle. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have treasure your loved ones. These, so this is for you. This is your side. This is your mutual energy. And for your person, we have deep knowing. And we have transformation. Okay. <clears throat> then from the, for the tarot, we have the world. This is the past energies. So we're going to do past, present, and future. We have the tower. For present energies, we have the wheel, king of pentacles, the two of cups, love it. Love to see the two of cups. It's actually one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite cards in the deck, in the tarot. Okay, then we, for future, we have the two of wands and the ace of wands and the 10 of pentacles. Great energies, guys. I can just see this great energies between you and your person. And from the from this, we have cleanse. And we have big happy changes. Okay, let me just put this, making sure that you guys see this. All right. Okay. So The past doesn't look very good, you know? I see like a breakup. You perhaps, we have the 10 of wands, we have the world and the tower. So something has, some cycle has kind of ended, came to a close in the past. Perhaps, um, it could also mean that your relationship or your connection just really happened unexpectedly. You know, it was like lightning. It was like divine intervention. It was like something that just hit you like lightning. It was all of a sudden. And both of you were thrown off balance. Both of you were just thrown into this. And and neither one of you can, you know, make, make heads or tails about this connection. Both of you confused. Both of you in a state of shock. That could have been that too, okay, in the past. For some of you, you could have um, just decided to, to go separate ways perhaps your connection wasn't progressing and whatever events have transpired you guys just decided just to end it for some of you it was a breakup for some of you it could have been a big huge fight and just had a break maybe not broken up but just kind of drifted apart you know um yeah because we have the ten of wands which is like a completion right and then we have the world and then the tower the world and tower could mean an ending or it could mean, um, like, like I said, you know, ending of a cycle. Uh, you went definitely through some sort of transformation, some sort of, you know, things weren't the same. Something big. You might have had a tower moment, either you, your person, or both of you had this tower moment. And it forced you 
just you know to tap in into your tuition and have more trust this is transformation occurs through acceptance only you accept once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform and what's funny is that your person as well has transformation so both these cards talk about transformation your person says your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so definitely like i said the tower here but the two people just jumping off of a tower that it's in flame in flames both of you have gone through transformation i feel so this isn't just one-sided i don't feel you were the only one that learned or benefit from benefited from this connection i think this happened for your person as well okay um you're waiting for a message perhaps a message in the bottle bottle or perhaps you're going to reach out either you reach out or you're waiting for this message perhaps you're waiting for them to reach out to you maybe you've had for those like i said take these messages as, you know as they resonate with you if this doesn't resonate with you you know what to do choose another group or just simply wait for the, another video but for those that resonate with this reading Either you want to reach out because we're talking here about message in a bottle, so it's about messages. Either you want to reach out since this is on your on your side, or you're waiting for your person to reach out. But at the same time, I feel like you're not obsessing about receiving messages because I feel like you've kind of learned to trust the connection and you're just, you know, you put it in God's hands and you're like, you know what, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. This person's going to message me when they're ready to message me. I feel like that's the energy that's coming through for you, the viewer. Okay. And your person, your person has this deep knowing as well. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's highly intuitive. Okay. Who is, who is spiritually attuned. Uh, even though perhaps they don't practice, perhaps they're not, they don't look spiritual on the surface or whatever, but I feel like this is instinctive for them. They are an old soul. This is a 743. Uh, it's a seventh energy. This person is highly intuitive. They might have a seven as a personality, either born on the, six, the 7th, 16th, 25th, or have it as a life path number, you know, but, or they could even have it in their name. And their name number as well but this person definitely is highly intuitive even though like i said they have never like um they've never practiced anything about spirituality they don't know anything about the occult or any any and anything that is unknown unseen forces but it's something that comes to them into intuitively because why this person is an old soul so through you you were able to awaken some 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 of that in them so they have this deep knowing that your connection is not going anywhere they have this they're very much aware of your connection what it is they know they have a spiritual connection to you okay but they definitely both of you have gone to, through this transformation okay well this card says treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply so one of the, I feel like the main, main lesson that both of you had to learn is, is love, is to be able to trust, to be able to open your heart and to love each other deeply. Because a lot of us really don't know how we love. We don't know how to love. You know, we love, we love somebody, we think we love somebody when things are, are great or when we are getting what we want. But, <clears throat> excuse me, as soon as things get a bit complicated, well, like, uh, uh, you know what, I don't think I feel the same way. So, <laughs> see your next life kind of thing. So, <laughs> a lot of us have to learn to love. And I think your connection has kind of, that was a major lesson for you guys, okay? <clears throat> excuse me. The present energies, oh, my voice is breaking, I'm sorry. Let me cough one more time. <coughs> okay. Okay, so current energies. We have, so the change, definitely, the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune has turned for the better. Wheel of fortune could either be negative or positive, depending on surrounding cards, but I feel the past was pretty oblique, okay? It was not... Um, positive okay whatever went on between you guys wasn't the, the most positive 
but things have changed definitely this is your current energies you might be some of you are already back with your person okay because we have the two of cups here if you're not back with your person definitely you both are in sync okay you're vi vibrationally speaking you are in sync and you're both feeling the same way the two of cups for me is the yes card for mutual feelings okay you might be dealing, not always, but you might be dealing with an earth sign or can have earth in their chart, okay? Even water sign too for some of you. But again, I think here, let me see, what other signs do we have here? Um, maybe a Scorpio. I mean, take this as, you know, this astrological signs for me, they're not very reliable because we are a mixture of different signs. But this person though does have a very grounded energy because of the king of pentacles it could also king of pentacles could also represent you guys want to take things up you know um, to the next level you want more of a commitment because here we have the wheel the king of pentacles and the two of cups if this is not your group if you think no way in hell this is not happening i'm having a lot of problems with my person i don't see a commitment in the near future this group is not for you choose another one okay this is a group uh, this is for people that are, they know that their relationship is about to go in the you know is about to go or it's going in the right direction and and good changes are happening union is in the near future that's what group three is i mean group two is for okay for those of you who are in this energy yeah we have big happy changes yeah the wheel of fortune is actually very lucky in this combination of cards it's big you know the wheel is turning for big happy changes well, there's certain things that you may perhaps you need to let go and you know in the past leave in the past you have to cleanse here maybe whatever negative energy that happened in the past maybe it's past you know it's time to move past it okay and just leave it in the past so maybe there's some cleansing here that needs to be done the future possible future energies very good the two of wands is about collaboration, working together. It's about planning for the future. We have the ace of wands as well. I feel like there's a lot of passion, a lot of emotions in this connection. And we have the 10 of pentacles, which is the absolutely, um, the ultimate commitment, security. It's the whole enchilada and more. Okay. The 10 of pentacles for me, it is, it is even better than the, t the Ten of Cups. Because Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. But the Ten of Pentacles, you just get everything. That's security, long-term relationship, financial, emotional. It's the deep commitment. And um, it's built on a very, very strong foundation. It's funny how in the past you had the tower. The tower usually crumbles when things are not stable, right? And then you end here in the Ten of Pentacles, which is a very stable relationship. So you're going from this uncertainty, things up in the air, and then you, you evolve onto stability and commitment and having a great life together. Okay? Definitely both of you have transformed. This connection, as painful as it might have been in the past, has brought up the best in you okay even though you don't know it you don't realize it yet you will come to uh to realize it okay so what else okay and i got a i got a thing here for you again, again to confirm that says yes the feeling is definitely mutual and it's not in your head so so far we have two yes yes for group one and yes for group two okay so group two if you guys like the reading please like comment and subscribe and if it didn't resonate with you please choose another group thank you very much for watching until next time all right group three Okay, group three, welcome group three. Cornelian, all right, so let's see what we have here. I'm gonna lay the cards and then I'm gonna read them, okay? So we have this, this is for you. The past is now behind you. Okay, 
The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay, group three. That looks pretty good to me so far. Then we have time to go. Don't panic. Let's see what the cards say. Okay. We have the heart of the matter. This, this, uh, there is more going on that meets the eye. Okay. This is for your person. So this is you, mutual energy. And this is for your person between worlds, okay? This is where your person is at currently. This is uh, also this for them. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed, okay? All right. So let's look at the... We're going to do past, present, future of your connection. So two of swords, this is in the past. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Emperor. Okay. Present, we have Karma, which is the Judgment. We have the Sun. And we have the, the Ten of Cups. Okay. The Future, we have Queen of Wands. The Empress. And the temperance okay and then we have last freedom in the near future okay very good so I think group three you are ready to let go you are letting go of this connection you're just fed up with it you're just as the card says, you are thinking about of letting go. If you haven't already let go, you're thinking of letting go. It says here, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. So yeah, you're ready for new possibilities, perhaps. You're ready for something new. You're letting go of this connection for some of you. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So there's, you know, there's something that just kind of um you you had an epiphany of some sort and you're just like okay this is not serving me any longer i am tired of waiting um i want something new so you're more open i, I feel to new possibilities you're trusting more yourself and you're trusting the universe okay your person <clears throat> your person is between worlds <clears throat> this is the really confused card for me. It's one foot in, one foot out kind of card for me. And then it says here, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So your person is definitely tormented. Uh, it could be things perhaps happening in their life, in their lives, perhaps they conflicted about their feelings for you. Perhaps they are already in a deep, you know, in a commitment and they don't know how to get out of it. Perhaps they're stuck between you and the other person. Or simply could mean this person just has commitment issues if they're not involved with someone else. They just have uh, commitment issues and just don't know their, their head from their, from their tail, you know. Try to be nice here. <laughs> For some of you, definitely your person is in this limbo energy, not knowing what to do. And perhaps that is why you kind of want to leave that connection because you're tired of waiting. Okay? The heart of the matter, there's more going on that meets the eye. So perhaps you're seeing your person from a very limited, you know, perspective. Perhaps your person is indecision, make, you know, makes you feel like they don't feel the same way about you and you're trying to find your happiness elsewhere, which is understandable. But the card is saying there's more going on in your person's life. That's the reason why your person is like not able to make a decision because circumstances perhaps in their life do not allow for them to be able to move forward. Okay. For some of you. Now, the past energies are the Two of Swords, the Indecision again, the Six of Swords, and the Emperor. So, the Emperor could mean, yes, maybe this person has children as well, because we have children here playing in the background. 
uh, perhaps he's a father, either a single father, perhaps or not, he's not able to, he or she, single father, single mother, somebody with the emperor energy. Um, it's not gender specific, but I'm just reading from the perspective of what the images on the cards, okay? So I'm seeing this as, you know, the emperor. If you're dealing with a man, he perhaps has children, has a family, okay? And a part of them wants to move away from that, but at the same time, they can make the decision to move away from that. Perhaps they're not happy in their relationship. If you're dealing with a married man or a married woman, perhaps they're not family, they're not happy in their home life, they're with their spouse, and they want to move away, but they cannot seem to come to terms with that. They cannot make that decision. So they are like in limbo, just like this card says between worlds, it just there's no decision here. It could also mean that both of you are at a distance from one another because the Six of Swords could mean a distance as well. Either emotional or physical, perhaps one of you or both of you have moved. Or perhaps you're in different countries, different states, different cities and so on and so forth. But either way, the Emperor could also mean someone who is set in their ways. Somebody who's not really taking any action, especially with this. I feel like somebody who's kind of like comfortable in their situation or just not taking any any uh, action or decision they're just uh, uh, the emperor for me also could mean could also mean someone who's not really open to new ideas who's not flexible just set in their way type of energy and i think that is why if you feel like you're you know hitting your head against the wall um, and it's not going anywhere because they are in this emperor energy. Perhaps they're not willing to open up. They're not willing to see things from a different perspective because they're just so set in their ways. And that's the reason why they are in between worlds. Uh, but definitely you want a freedom from that. You want a freedom from this connection. You want to get away from this whatever toxic energy or, you've, or you feel it to be toxic. Um, at the same time, I could also feel like this freedom card is not just for you, but I feel like for your person. I really feel like your person is heavily tormented and they just want to be free from their obligations and free from their whatever is holding them down. I really feel their soul is crying, is yearning for this freedom, but unfortunately, they're stuck. Present. The present the judgment, the sun, and the ten of cups. So I really feel like your person does have feelings for you. The sun for me is a big yes, okay? They do, um, you know, it's kind of like, for me, the, the judgment could also mean realizing they have very deep feelings for you, realizing they want to be with you, but at the same time, there's an aspect of the judgment to me, especially in this card, a bit hidden because there's kind of like darkness around this card. Uh, the eclipse here too. I feel like it's almost like a hidden energy. It's like they haven't come to, it's like they subconsciously feel this. They have, they feel deeply about you, but they are not acknowledging it yet. They're not open to it yet. At least they're not, because I feel like if they say to themselves out loud or they recognize their feelings, they feel like everything has to change in their lives, okay? And they don't want things to change, so somehow they might have a family and they don't want to break up their family. That could be for some of you. But I really feel like your person does feel it's not just in your head. I just think that you're giving them something and they're not ready yet to take it. They're not very receptive. They're not, they don't want their lives to change because no, they know if they acknowledge their feelings towards you and tell you exactly how you, they feel, then they would have to make changes in their lives. Yeah, and the reason too I say that is that we have two females here, the Empress and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like they might, you might be dealing with a married man. Or it could also mean, the Empress doesn't always mean another woman. It could also mean just planting seeds for the future. They see you as the Queen of Wands if you're a woman. If you're a male, you're still the, you know, in the Queen of Wands energy. Someone who's uh, perhaps a fire energy or have a lot of fire in their chart. Someone who's outgoing, who's a bit of an extrovert, who, who just goes for what they want, independent. Um, 
you know, very attractive. So yeah, I think the future is going to be great. I think really, because why we have the, the temperance here too, which is balance, which is balance is, you know, equal give and take between you guys and with Empress here and the Queen of Wands. It looks very positive in the future. So maybe some changes would happen. Perhaps they'll have some sort of epiphany or maybe something's going to happen in the near future between you guys. For those of you who just walked away from this connection because you feel like you don't want to deal with it, don't worry, you're going to get someone else. You, you could also, this could also mean for those of you who are just leaving all of this behind, the third party behind, or you're just leaving this indecision and this toxicity behind, you're going to have a new relationship. You're on your way to finding a great relationship and you'll be happy. For those of you who don't have children and want to be, you know, you want to be, um, you want to have a family and children, it is. You're going to find perhaps the person that is ideal for you and you might, you know, you might have a child or children, you know, more than one. So, so yeah, it can go either way. Other things improve with your person in the near future or you're on your way to becoming this empress and this queen of wands and strong and more balanced and having your relationship. And for those of you who want, who don't want to let go of the person and you still have some some hope left in you and you think things will work out i see it working out as well so take it as it resonates let me see does your person feel the same way <laughs> does your person feel the same way complicated okay complicated i feel yes your person feels the same way i just feel like your person is not free to love you the way you want to be loved is not free to express themselves, is not free to act the way they want to act towards you. So group three, I feel like your person has deep feelings for you, but it's complicated because I feel like if they acknowledge how they feel about you, the whole world, their whole world will come crashing down. They would have to make changes and they know this. So if you want to hold on to the relationship, you could listen to your intuition, hold on to it because it might improve. Okay, something is going to improve in your relationship, definitely. On the other hand, if you think this is just no way, it's not going to improve at all, you don't see a future uh, with this person, then just rest assured you're heading in the right direction. If you're thinking of time to go, you're left the connection or you think of leaving the connection, you're going to find another relationship. Okay, so group three, I hope you liked the reading. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.